This video is an addition to my blog post about supporting Windows 10, bring your own devices with Microsoft Endpoint Manager and WIP without enrollment. So if you haven't read my blog, please do that first and then continue along. So this is my test tenants. And here we have a corporate device, which is compliant, MDM enrolled and Azure AD joined, of course. And then let's have a look at the conditional access policies. It's all about these two, where one requires devices to be Azure AD registered for the bring your own scenario. And another one that requires compliant devices. Let's have a look at that one first. Uh, in this example, I'm targeting Office 365. On Windows platforms, and only when using mobile apps and desktop clients. There's an exclude filter for any device that is workplace joined. So Azure AD registered devices are excluded from this policy and not targeted. And then the grant, every other device needs to be marked as compliant. So this one's for the corporate devices. Then we have the bring your own device conditional access policy, also targeting all users. And then the Windows platform again, same as before, mobile apps and desktop clients. And then the exclude filter here is excluding every device with the ownership company or a device trust type of Azure AD. So Azure AD joint devices are excluded from this policy and users need to accept terms of use if the device is not Azure AD joint and marked as a company device. So here's my corporate device. And as you can see here, it's connected Azure AD joint MDM enrolled. Uh, and the last sync was successful as well. Mind the management server address. Now let's see what we can do uh, in OneDrive for Business. It all seems to work as expected. We can open a Word document, use the desktop application as expected as well. Now, for the other applications, Outlook should also work just fine, and Teams should work as well. There you have it. Corporate owned device. Don't need to accept the terms of use. And now let's have a look at what happens when we use a bring your own device. Now, this device is not registered in Azure Active Directory yet. There is a enrollment restriction which blocks bring your own devices from MDM enrolling to Intune. I'm going to first try and set up OneDrive for Business and see what happens. Okay, it's trying to sign in. Here comes the MFA request. And then this, uh, I can't get there from here, uh, but there's nothing else. There's little information for the user to continue. So keep that in mind. Uh, the only thing we see here is that the device is a registered device. Now let's try another application, say uh, Microsoft Teams. And then let's log in. It seems like Microsoft Teams is a little ahead of uh, OneDrive for Business because the error message here says that if this is a personal device, I can choose to let my tenant manage some of my device settings. And if I click on this link, it'll bring me right to the settings page 
where I can add a work or school account. We'll do that a little bit later. Let's also have a look at what happens when we use the browser from a unmanaged device. And I wanted to uh, give my users a little bit more freedom so they can use the browser, but it's going to be a limited session. I have limited access to SharePoint Online from unmanaged devices. So users can't download, uh, synchronize, or print uh, any documents while using the browser. And that is what, what this yellow ribbon is all about. So when using a PC, for example, at a um, internet cafe, users are free to use the browser, but they cannot download sync or print from, from image devices. Now, let's connect this device and Azure AD register it. Although I have set up automatic enrollment to Microsoft Endpoint Manager, it's not going to enroll this device in Endpoint Manager because I have the enrollment restrictions set up which blocks bring your own devices from enrolling to Intune. But this will register the device in Azure Active Directory and that's what we want to achieve. There you have it. So you need to think about your communication strategy. Um, also, mind the, the, the management server address here. You can see that this uh, device is also targeted with a WIP policy. So that's good to know. Uh, but like I said, um, keep in mind to think about your communication strategy um, to your users because they need to know what to do. Now let's try to sign in to Microsoft OneDrive again. So I have registered my device and now it's telling me to accept the terms of use. All set. I'll continue as it is for now and then open up the OneDrive for Business folder. Pay attention to the file ownership. It shows the uh, domain name, which is registered. And this is my uh, Windows Information Protection Policy that kicks in and protects documents that are synchronized from the tenant to this device. So, as you can see, I can now use the, the client's applications to, to access corporate data on a bring your own device. Now let's see what happens when, when I try to copy uh, data from, from a protected document to WordPad. Paste it, oh, there you go. I can't paste the data in unmanaged applications. So my Windows Information Protection Policy is working just fine. Okay, that's uh, all about for for the user experience. So that's it for the user experience. Now let's have a look at the back end. Here's my terms of use and I can see that it's been accepted once. And you can see it it was Octai. That's my test account and the device name shows up as well. Okay, let's have a look at the sign-in logs and see how the conditional access policies work out here. Let's go for the OneDrive Sync Engine and then the conditional access policy for bring your own devices that require a device to register. And here you can see that the filter matched so the result is that this policy has not been applied. That was on a corporate device. Now let's have a look at another one. And here you can see that the conditional access policy result is success. And that 
the filter did not apply because it did not match. Now there's a little more information available if you want to have a look at that go ahead. But that was how the conditional access policies are used in, in the back end. And finally here's my Windows information protection without enrollment policy that kicks in on, on devices that are not enrolled to Intune and I've set the protection mode to block. That's it. Don't forget to read my blog.